Hi everyone, this is Mickey Adams in Dallas, Texas. I'd like to thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel here today. As most of you are aware, I am a dealer and an endorsee for Mullen pedal steel guitars, and I play exclusively the Mullen G2, their flagship model. And in this lesson, we are going to look at a faux C6, sounds like C6, uh, for our E9 guitar, the intro for Right or Wrong. Before we get started to avoid some confusion, my E lever and my F lever. A lot of questions about this. Uh, my E lever lowers my E's, my F lever raises my E's. We're going to be using the E and F lever along with the A and B pedal and a half an A pedal. The first chord that we're going to be playing or working into is an E plus. An E plus is basically an augmented fifth. That's what the plus sign means. We're going to raise the fifth tone a half step. So in the key of E, of course, we would raise B a half step. We're going to be working around fret 12, and I'm going to first show you three different ways to voice the E+. Plus. The first is with strings 5, 6, and 9 at position 12 with a half A pedal. We have an augmented fifth, a major third, and we have a dominant seventh on the bottom. The second is at position number 11 with A, B, and F, position uh, 11, 5, 6, and 8. Now the note that's falling on this F lever here on string number 8 is actually a root, so we can reverse that down to a dominant 7 by lowering it a whole step. There's a half and there's another half. So we have A, B, and E, or A, B, and F, and we still get an adequate E plus voicing. Any one of these will work. You take your choice, okay? So we're going to take this apart phrase by phrase, and we're going to divide this video into two separate lessons because the chord progression changes. Here is the portion, uh, portion one, phrase one. at position number 10 with the A and B pedals down. Our thumb is on string 8, 8, 8, 7, 6. Pick up notes. From here we're going to engage the E lever, dampen, slide from 10 to 11, strings 5, 6, and 8. There's our E plus. From here we're going to play E, E7. Have the B pedal engaged. I am going to strike four, five, and six, engage the A pedal, slide to five, release the A pedal, engage the E lever. Strike five, six, and eight. Reverse, fret number 10, Strings 5, 7, and 8 with the A pedal. Now, pick up the A pedal and engage the E lever. Same group, 5, 6, and 8. 5, 7, and 8. Second part of the phrase, same string group. Reverse to 5, 6, and 8 with the A pedal. D6. So we have 5, 7, and 8 with the E lever. 10, 9, 10. Change string groups to the A pedal. 5, 6, and 8. Dampen. Move to 5 A and B pedals. Strings 4, 5, and 7. Slide to three, release the pedal, engage the E lever. Strike five, six, and eight. Dampen. Now five, six, and eight with the A pedal. Okay, 
the A pedal, right? Now, we're going to move to position 4, B pedal engaged, and we're going to strike 6, 7, and 9 and slide to 5. Now we're going to engage the A pedal and we're going to rake 7, 6, 5 and strike 4 with our finger. This is a rake. the A and B pedals and we're going to strike the strings 5, 6, and 8 at position number 8 with the E lever. Okay, this is 5, 6, and 8 with the E lever. This is 5, 6, and 9 with the A pedal at, at 5. Back to D, 5, 6, and 8. One inversion, five, six, and eight, four, five, and six. Now, this is probably the most complex move. Okay, we're looking at an A7. We're gonna have the B pedal engaged at 12, strike five, six, five, dampen. Now we're going to bring in the A pedal with 6, 8, and 10. Now strike 6, 7, and 8. Let's see. There we go. 5, 6, 5, 6, 8, 10 with the B pedal engaged. Bring in the A. Dampen, slide down to 10, and strike 6, 7, and 8 with the B pedal and E lever. Slide that down to 7 with just the B pedal. And then to A, no pedals, 6, 7, 9. That gives us the A7 here. Okay, one more time. 5, 6, 5 with the B pedal. 6, 8, 10, bring in the A pedal. Slide to 10. Strike six, seven, eight with the B pedal and E lever. Slide to seven, release the E lever. Slide to five, change groups. Six, seven, nine, no pedals. String four, one, and then a D chord. guys that's part one uh, there's a lot of experimentation for you to do there a lot of different ways to voice the same phrases and I think we've got some pretty cool C6 ones in on this one so thank you so much for joining me here on YouTube guys this is Mickey Adams in Dallas and I'll see you right back here with your pedal steel guitar so long <laughs>